See you and good afternoon again to the team from GT Co who is visiting the exchange this afternoon. We had said earlier how remarkable and glorious this day is for our industry and for our community. Also, we've also chosen to do something if you will allow us before I ring the bell. As you know, since you've listed us as GT Co. We're going to unveil what GT Co logo actually looks like so that when you see it, it will stop looking strange. It looks very similar to what we've always done. And so again, we've chosen this very special place to unveil the logo to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Abadi. Mr. Abadi. Yes, why is time? At zero zero zero. We'll do that and we'll all clap together. Welcome, gentlemen and ladies of the press, and welcome, everyone. Thank you for um, joining us. We're honored to have you here with us this morning to honor the late Taya Deriopu, one of the co-founders of Guarantee Trust Bank, and one which today we celebrate his legacy. It's a very emotional morning for me, but at the same time, a very happy morning emotional because I have to remember my boss who gave me the opportunity to be the CEO 10 years later. Again, I'm standing somewhere where five years ago we dreamt about doing this. I remember Senator Ebikule Amusu ruining one of my suits and one of my shoes on this site on a rainy day when we were conceiving putting this place up Labored here, we're live with it. They were putting everything here. It was like a refuse bin, and that's why I'm happy that this place is named after Tayo. Those things that Tayo was asking me that what did you want to do when you become this governor? Look at you, you serve your people, doing other things. Now you are helping me to prove to him, and I know when they said dead ones, I've not been there that they see what is happening. He will be happy with all of us. It's really nice to still see parts of him all over the country all over the world. It's extremely impactful. My father loved education and the impact it can have in training minds and improving lives has been amazing. We are glad that his love for education and excellence continues to bring honor to the family. Not only did he believe in a learning organization, he used his money to basically do this. And that is why we are where we are today. Just look at it. And you are not just doing this like this for me today. You are honoring somebody that deserves it. And we're glad to see the legacy still continue. On behalf of the Ederico family, 
and my late father. I really, really like to thank you for this great, great honor. This is prime land in Ambilkis. I've been waiting to drive in. This is as prime as it gets. So when I dream, I think of this place, and I think of hundreds and hundreds of people who will walk into this place, young people who will walk out, smarter people, brighter people, and I can almost see like a collage of portraits of people who will not only contribute to the success and history of this great institution, but the success and history of this great country of ours. When I grew up, I want to take over the world. I want to be a great president. I will take care of people, make them super happy, and give kids any food they want to eat any time. I want to be a hero, so that I can keep my friends and my brothers safe. I will build a fight circle, so that I can stand up for people and make sure nobody ever gets bullied again. I want to be a cool boss. My office will be get my mommy room. And I will shout instructions from it. Hey! Stop that. You! Chill up and believe in yourself. You, smile. It's going to be okay. I want to be a superstar, win lots of awards. I will be on the cover of magazines, posing like this. And when people see me or read about me, they will say, oh, she is so intelligent. She's so kind. She's such a legend. I will be brave. I will be strong. Like superheroes, but better. I want people to say, oh, she can do it all. Can't she? And they won't be wrong.
to see you and good afternoon again to the team from GT Co who is visiting the exchange this afternoon. We had said earlier how remarkable and glorious these days for our industry and for our community. But also we've also chosen to do something if you will allow us before I ring the bell. As you know since you've listed us as GT Co we're going to unveil what GT Co logo actually looks like so that when you see it, it will stop looking strange. It looks very similar to what we've always done. And so again, we've chosen this very special place to unveil the logo to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Baje. Zero, zero, zero. We'll get that on. We're all clapping. Welcome, gentlemen and ladies of the press, and welcome, everyone. Thank you for um, joining us. We're honored to have you here with us this morning to honor the late Tai Adiriokun, one of the co-founders of Guarantee Trust Bank, and one which today we celebrate his legacy. It's very emotional morning for me, but at the same time, a very happy morning. Emotional because I have to remember my boss who gave me the opportunity to be the CEO 10 years later. Again, I'm standing somewhere where five years ago we dreamt about doing this. I remember Senator Ebikule Amosu ruining one of my suits or one of my shoes on this site on a rainy day when we were conceiving putting this place up. Labored here, we're live with you. They were putting everything here. It was like a refuse bin. And that's why I'm happy that this place is named after Tayo. Those things that Tayo was asking me that what did you want to do when you become this governor? You can still help your people doing other things. Now you are helping me to prove to him. And I know when they said dead ones, I've not been there that they see what is happening. He will be happy with all of us. It's really nice to still see parts of him all over the country all over the world, it's extremely impactful. My father loved education and the impact it can have in training minds and improving lives has been amazing. We are glad that his love for education and excellence continues to bring honor to the family. Not only did he believe in a learning organization, he used his money to basically do this. And that is why we are where we are today. Just look at this. And you are not just doing this like this for me today. You are honoring somebody that deserves it. And we're glad to see the legacy still continue. On behalf of the Adirico family, 
and my late father. I really, really like to thank you for this great, great honor. This is prime land in Abuel Kuta. I've been waiting to drive in. This is as prime as it gets. So when I dream, I think of this place, and I think of hundreds and hundreds of people who will walk into this place, young people who will walk out, smarter people, brighter people, and I can almost see like a collage of portraits of people who will not only contribute to the success and history of this great institution, but the success and history of this great country of ours. When I grew up, I want to take over the world. I want to be a great president. I will take care of people, make them super happy, and give kids any food they want to eat any time. I want to be a hero, so that I can keep my friends and my brothers safe. I will be a fighter, so that I can stand up for people and make sure nobody ever gets bullied again. I want to be a cool boss. My office will be good in my mommy's room. And I will shout instructions from it. Hey! Stop that. You! Shut up and believe in yourself. You! Smile. It's supposed to be okay. I want to be a superstar, win lots of awards. I will be on the cover of magazines. Check it out. Afternoon, uh, Odoyan. Glad to see you, and good afternoon again to the team from GTK, who is visiting the exchange this afternoon. We had said earlier how remarkable and glorious this day is for our industry and for our community. Also, we've also chosen to do something, if you will allow us, before I ring the bell. As you know, since you've listed us as GTCO, we're going to unveil what GTCO logo actually looks like so that when you see it, it will stop looking strange. It looks very similar to what we've always done. And so again, we've chosen this very special place to unveil the logo to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Abaje. Hand it down to Mr. Abaje. Yeah, one is hand. At zero, zero, zero. We'll get that on the right track for them. Welcome, gentlemen and ladies of the press, and welcome, everyone. Thank you for um, joining us. We're honored to have you here with us this morning to honor the late Taya Adin Ryokun, one of the co-founders of Guarantee Trust Bank, 
and one which today we celebrate his legacy. It's a very emotional morning for me, but at the same time, a very happy morning. Emotional because I have to remember my boss who gave me the opportunity to be the CEO 10 years later. Again, I'm standing somewhere where five years ago we dreamt about doing this. I remember Senator is equally emotional wearing one of my suits or one of my shoes on this site on a rainy day when we were conceiving putting this place up. We all labored here. We were like, they were putting everything here. It was like a refuse room. And that's why I'm happy that this place is named after Tayo. Don't think that Tayo was asking me that what did you want to do when you become this governor? You can still help your people doing other things. Now you are helping me to prove to him. And I know when they said dead one, I'm not in there. That they see what is happening. You will be happy with all of us. It's really nice to still see parts of him all over the country, all over the world. It's extremely impactful. My father loved education and the impact it can have in training minds and We are glad that his love for education and excellence continues to bring honor to the family. Not only did he believe in a learning organization, he used his money to basically do this. And that is why we are where we are today. Just look at me. Doing so good. And you are not just doing this like this for me today. You are honoring somebody that deserves it. And we're glad to see the legacy still continue. On behalf of the Adenico family, and my late father, I really, really like to thank you for this great, great honor. This is prime land in Abel Kutu. I've been waiting to drive in. This is as prime as it gets. So when I dream, I think of this place, and I think of hundreds and hundreds of people who will walk into this place, young people who will walk out, smarter people, brighter people, and I can almost see like a collage of portraits of people who will not only contribute to the success and history of this great institution, but the success and history of this great country of ours. When I grew up, I want to take over the world. I want to be a great president. I will take care of people, make them super happy, and give kids any food they want to eat any time. I want to be a hero, so that I can keep my friends and my brother safe. I will be a fighter, so that I can stand up for people and make sure nobody ever gets bullied again. I want to be a cool boss. My office is bigger than my mommy's room. And I will shout instructions from it. Hey, stop that. You, you should have been believing yourself. You, smile, it's going to be okay. I want to be a superstar, win lots of awards. I will be on the cover of magazines, posing like this. And when people see me or read about me, they will say, oh, she's so intelligent. She's so kind. She's such a legend. I will be brave. I will be strong. Like superheroes, but better. I want people to say, oh, she can do it all. Can't she? And they won't be wrong.
be incredible. Check it out. from GT Co who is visiting the exchange this afternoon. We had said earlier how remarkable and glorious this day is for our industry and for our community. But also, we've also chosen to do something, if you will allow us, before I ring the bell. As you know, since you've listed us as GT Co, we're going to unveil what GT Co logo actually looks like so that when you see it, it will stop looking strange. It looks very similar to what we've always done. And so again, we've chosen this very special place to unveil the logo to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Baje. Mr. Gabby. Yes, why is time? At zero zero zero. We'll do that and we'll all clap together. Gentlemen and ladies of the press, and welcome everyone. Thank you for um, joining us. We're honored to have you here with us this morning to honor the late Taya Adiriyoki, one of the co founders of Guarantee Trust Bank, and one which today we celebrate his legacy. It's very emotional morning for me, but at the same time, a very happy morning.
morning. Good morning, distinguished shareholders. And welcome to the first annual general meeting of Gantu Trust Holding Company, PLC. May we please rise for the national anthem. Thank you. You may please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to invite Mr. Benga Idori to kindly say us the opening prayers. Father and our God, we thank you for giving us opportunity to appreciate you and give you thanks. You are giving the board, the pioneer, the board members of this bank to our use the bank to speak to the economy space of Nigeria. Greetings to the customers, to the staff, to the manager, they are still sleeping. Today is another day. Fresh year anniversary of another day, another person we are giving the bank. You will still give them more grace to speak greater things to the economy space of Nigeria in year to come. Thank you, Father. We pray for the chairman of the bank, the managing director, the managing, the staff, the customers of the bank. This country is going through a change, but your grace will be sufficient for us to pass through this change. We will take the issue of the bank. Father, the bank is going from strength to strength, and you will give them wisdom, ability to calculate this effort greater effort or more profit or more economic benefit for Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Mr. Idori. Uh, good morning, esteemed shareholders. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, esteemed shareholders, uh, proxies, representatives of the regulatory authorities, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, the Nigerian Exchange Limited, the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, the Corporate Affairs Commission, our auditors and external consultants, uh, that's uh, Ernst & Young, observers, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a great honor and privilege and a great pleasure for me this morning to wish you all a warm welcome to the first annual general meeting of our newly transformed company, <coughs> Guarantee Trust Holding Company, PLC. I uh, would like to uh, start the proceedings by drawing your attention to the register of shareholders uh, of the company, which uh, is available for inspection. I also would want to draw your attention to the uh, uh, director, registry of directors shareholdings, 
which is available for inspection throughout this meeting uh, in accordance with section 301 of the um, Companies and Allied Matters Act. I want to also draw your attention to the uh, register of directors attendance at meetings, which is available for inspection and is actually included in the uh, H, uh, annual financial statement pursuant to section 284, sec subsection 2 of the uh, CAMA uh, 2020. So, um, as it's a new um, company, so to speak, uh, nevertheless, it is a continuing the tradition of a great brand, DTB. Uh, I want to say, with your permission, that in line with our tradition, we would like to commence the proceedings uh, by introducing members of the board who are here present, as well as our officers, uh, representatives of the regulatory authorities, and the advisors of our, our company. So let me start by uh, introducing the uh, members of the uh, board of the company. And uh, we are bound by virtual uh, protocols today of the COVID. Hopefully that will soon be over with. Uh, Mr. Suleiman Barao um, is uh, attending online. I don't know where, where he is, I think he's somewhere. <laughs> And Mrs. Helen Buig, uh, they are both independent non-executive directors and they are joining the meeting online. Uh, to my extreme left, we have uh, Mrs. Tati Echeozo, uh, a non-executive director that you have been familiar with from years past. To my immediate left, I have uh, Erin Obebeduo, <laughs> our indefatigable company, uh, group company secretary. To my uh, extreme right, we have uh, Debanji Adeni, <laughs> who is uh, an executive director of a great company. And to my immediate right is Mr. Shedden Abaje. our group chief executive officer uh, of the company. Uh, moving to our regulators, we have Mr. Debayo Laure and Mr. Onyika Kika representing the Central Bank of Nigeria. Are they here? Oh, they come. Thank you. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission represented by Mrs. Uh, Kelechi Azubike Luk. We have Mrs. Ilori Adiogu Bukola, who represents the Corporate Affairs Commission. We have uh, Bonaventure Onwuchi, who represents the Nigerian Exchange Limited, uh, attending virtually. We have Mr. Hamilton Samson and Mr. Umaru Usman Makama, representing the NDIC, attending virtually as well. I will now introduce our advisors. First, we have our auditors and the external consultant on board, uh, the annual board appraisal, that's Mrs. Ernst & Young, uh, represented by Mrs. Yiza Pena, Mr. Olumide Oshikoya, and Mr. Biodun Ogunaiki. Next is Mrs. Misson Kofi Senaya, Presenting Registrar Data Max. We have uh, Mrs. Sandra Mbagu Fagbemi, Shareholders Representative and Chairman of the Statutory Audit Committee of the company. And at this point, I present my humble self. My name is Hezekiah Adeshola Ongola. I'm the presumed chairman of the board of directors. May I at this point uh, call upon our group company secretary to read the notice convening this meeting.
Good morning, distinguished shareholders. All other protocols observed. Notice of annual general meeting. Notice is hereby given at the first annual general meeting of Guarantee Trust Holding Company PLC will hold at the Oriental Hotel, 3 Lekki Road, Victoria Island, Lagos State, on April 8, 2022 at 10 a.m. to transact the following business. Ordinary business. To receive the audited financial statement for the year ended December 31, 2021, and the reports of the directors, auditors, and the statutory audit committee thereon. Two, to declare a dividend. Three, to elect stroke re-elect directors. Four, to appoint Ernst and Young as the external auditor of the company. Five, to authorize directors to fix the remuneration of the auditors. Six, to disclose the remuneration of managers of the company. Seven, to elect members of the statutory audit committee. Special business. Eight, to consider and approve as an ordinary resolution of the company that in compliance with the rule of the Nigerian Exchange Limited governing transactions with related parties or interested persons, the company and its related entities, the group, be and are hereby granted a general mandate in respect of all recurring transactions entered into with a related party or interested person provided such transaction are of a revenue or trading nature or are necessary for the company's day-to-day -day operations. This mandate shall commence on the date on which this resolution is passed and shall continue to operate until the date on which the next annual general meeting of the company is held. Nine, the director's remuneration for the financial year ending December 31, 2022, and for succeeding years until reviewed by the company in its annual general meeting, be and is hereby fixed at 20 million annually for each director. 10. To consider and if thought fit, pass the following resolution as an ordinary resolution. That the company be and is hereby authorized to take all steps necessary to comply with the requirement of section 124 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 and the Companies Regulations 2021 as it relates to unissued shares forming part of the share capital of the company, including the cancellation of the unissued shares of the company. That the company be and is hereby authorized to take all steps necessary to ensure that the memorandum and articles of association of the company are altered to comply with resolution 10.1 above, including replacing the provision stating the authorized share capital with the issued share capital. That the company be and is hereby authorized to enter into and execute agreements, deed, notices, and any other document necessary to and for or incidental to resolution 10.1 above. 10.4, that the company be and is hereby authorized to appoint such professional parties, consultants, and advisors as may be required to comply with resolution 10.1 above. And 10.5, that the company be and is hereby authorized to perform all acts and do all such other things as may be necessary for or incidental to giving effect to the above resolutions, including without limitation, complying with the directives of the regulatory authority. Proxy. A member entitled to attend and vote at the annual general meeting is entitled to appoint a proxy to attend and vote in his, her, its stead. A proxy need not be a member of the company. For the appointment to be valid, a completed proxy form must be deposited at the office of the registrar Data Max Registrars Limited, number 2C, Bagada Express Road, Bagada Phase 1, Lagos State, not less than 48 hours before the time fixed for the meeting. A blank proxy form is attached to the annual report. The company will bear the cost of stamping of all duly completed and signed proxy forms submitted within the stipulated period by the order of the board. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, at this point, I want to draw your attention to Section 51A of the Articles of Association of the Company, which states that no business shall be transacted at any general meeting unless a quorum of members is present at the time when the meeting proceeds to business. Save as herein otherwise provided, 
a quorum for any AGM of the meeting of the company shall be formed where they are present in person or by proxy, 100 members listed in the shareholders register of the company. Uh, the information we have been provided uh, this morning from the registrar indicated that a total of 524 shareholders representing holders of 61% of the company's issued share capitals were present at the commencement of this meeting, out of which 15 shareholders are here in person, while 510 shareholders are present by proxy. So based on the foregoing, a quorum has been formed and this meeting is duly convened and properly constituted. So in view of the approval provided by the uh, Corporate Affairs uh, Commission for the AGM to be held by proxy, uh, we now invite the registrars to provide a proxy report uh, for the AGM. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I've got uh, 48 hours prior to this meeting. The registrars received a total of 510 duly completed and signed proxy form representing about 18 billion shares, makes, making 61.35% of proxies received in our office. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Registrar. Um, as we go along, I wish now to update you on the meeting protocols. Um, please note that the participants on the online platform I don't know where they are, but somewhere in here. All microphones will be automatically muted throughout the duration of the meeting, except when you have been granted the permission to speak. You may request permission to ask questions during the Q&A session by clicking the raise hand button on the online platform. Please state your name once you have been called upon to speak. You can also type in your questions in the Q&A window, which can be accessed via the Q&A icon. For those present in the room, you may indicate your uh, intention to speak by raising your hand and similarly uh, introduce yourselves. Thank you very much. Uh, we are on uh, the introduction of the director's report and financial statements. And I have the pleasure of presenting the audited financial statements and the director's report of the company, as well as the chairman's statement for the year December uh, ending December 21, 2021, copies of which have been previously circulated to shareholders. And I suggest that may be taken as read. Thank you for that. Uh, so I lay before you this uh, director's report, the audited accounts for the year ended December 31, 2021, in accordance with the Companies and Allied Matters Act and the Companies Articles of Association. I now invite uh, Mrs. Lisa Pena, representative of our ed auditor, Einstein Young, to read the annual report, uh, the auditor, uh, auditor's report uh, encompassed in the annual financial statements. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Our independent auditor's report can be found on um, page 76 up to uh, page 81. Uh, with your permission, Mr. Chairman, I'll be reading certain excerpts of our report while the rest of the body of the report will be considered as well. Thank you. Independent auditor's report to the shareholder, shareholders of Guarantee Trust Holding Company, PLC, Report on the audit of the consolidated and separate financial statements. Opinion. We have audited the consolidated and separate financial statements of Guaranteed Trust Holding Company, enclosed the company, and its subsidiaries, together the group, 
which comprise the consolidated and separate statements of financial position as of 31 December 2021, and the consolidated and separate income statements, the consolidated and separate statements of other comprehensive income, the consolidated and separate statements of changes in equity, and the consolidated and separate statements of cash flows for the year that ended, and a summary of significant accounting policies and notes to the consolidated and separate financial statements. In our opinion, the accompanying consolidated and separate financial statements give a true and fair view of the consolidated and separate financial statements of the group and the company as at 31 December 2021, and its consolidated and separate financial performance and consolidated separate uh, cash flows for the year that ended in accordance with the international financial reporting standards and the relevant provisions of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020, the banks and other financial institutions act in close BOFIA 2020, and relevant circulars issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria in close CBN, and in compliance with the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act number 6, 2011. The rest of the uh, body of our report, which comprised the basis for opinion, key audit matters, as well as other matters, other information, responsibilities of the directors for the consolidated and separate financial statements, the auditor's responsibilities for the audit of the consolidated and separate financial statements will be considered as read. I continue with the, uh, on page 81, the report on other legal and regulatory requirements. In accordance with the requirement of the fifth schedule of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020, we confirm that one, we have obtained all the information and explanations which to the best of our knowledge and belief are necessary for the purpose of our audit. Two, in our opinion, proper books of accounts have been kept by the group and the company in so far as it appears from our examination of those books. Third, the consolidated and separate statements of financial position, the consolidated and separate income statements, and the consolidated and separate statements of other comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of account. And fourth, in our opinion, the consolidated and separate financial statements have been prepared in accordance with the provisions of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 so as to give a true and fair view of the state of affairs and financial performance of the company and its subsidiaries. In compliance with the banks and other financial institutions Act 2020 and circulars issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria, we confirm that one, related party transactions and balances are disclosed in Note 46 to the consolidated and separate financial statements in accordance with the Central Bank of Nigeria Circular BSD slash 1 slash 2004. Two, returns on customers' complaints are disclosed in other information, complaints and feedback in compliance with the Central Bank of Nigeria Circular PDR slash DIR slash CIR slash 01 slash 20. And third, as stated in Note 47 to the Consolidated and Service Financial Statements, Guaranteed Trust Bank Limited, formerly Guaranteed Trust Bank PLC, paid penalties in respect of contraventions of certain sections of the banks and other financial institutions act 2020 and circulars issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria during the year ended 31 December 2021. Signed, Anthony Oputa, FRC slash 2013 slash ICANN slash 00000980 for Ernst and Young, Lagos, Nigeria, dated 24 February 2022. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Penner. Uh, we now move on to the uh, Statutory Audit Committee report. And I invite Mrs. Sandra Mbagu Fagbemi, the Chairman of the Statutory Audit Committee, to read the Statutory Audit Committee report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. The report of the Audit Committee for the year ended December 31, 2021 in accordance with the provisions of Section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 20, 2020, the members of the Audit Committee of Guaranteed Trust Holding Company, PLC, hereby report as follows. We have exercised our statutory functions under Section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 and acknowledge the cooperation of management and staff in the conduct of these responsibilities. We are of the opinion that the accounting and reporting policies of the company and group are in accordance with legal requirements 
and agreed ethical practices, and that the scope and planning of both the external and internal audits for the year ended December 31, 2021, were satisfactory and reinforced the group's internal control systems. We are satisfied that the company has complied with the provisions of Central Bank of Nigeria Secular BSD-1-2004, dated 18th February 2004, on disclosure of director's related credits in the financial statements of the company, and hereby confirm that an aggregate amount of 6 billion 859,721,453 Naira was outstanding as of 31 December 2021. The comparative figure for the previous year, 31st December 2020, was 7,864,207,991 Naira. The status of performance of insider related credits is as disclosed in note 46D. We have deliberated with the external auditors who have confirmed that necessary cooperation was received from management in the course of their statutory audit, and we are satisfied with management's re responses to the external auditors' recommendations on accounting and internal control matters and the effectiveness of the bank system of accounting and internal control. Signed, Sandra Mbagufagwemi, Chairman, Audit Committee, and dated uh, January 28, 2022. My FRC number is as stated in the report. The members of our Audit Committee are comprised of three uh, statutory members and two board members, as named as follows. Mrs. Sandra Mbagufagwemi, Alaj M. A. Usman, Mrs. Aderon Kekuye, the shareholders' representatives, and Mrs. Kathy Echozo and Mrs. Helen Briggs, board representatives. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Mbagu Fagbemi. Uh, we are now up to the external consultants' report. I invite Mr. Biodun Ogunoki, representative of Ernst & Young, to read the report of the external consultant on board appraisal in line with the Central Bank of Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance, which is applicable to our company. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and good morning, everyone. So the report of the external consultants on the board performance evaluation of Guaranteed Trust Holding Company, PLC, can be found on page 75 of the annual report. So EY has performed the evaluation of the Board of Guaranteed Trust Holding Company, PLC, for the year ended 31st December 2021, in accordance with the guidelines of Section 2.8.1 of the Central Bank of Nigeria's Code of Corporate Governance for other financial institutions in Nigeria, Section 15.1 of the Securities Exchange Commission Code of Corporate Governance 2011, and Section 15.1 of the Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance 2018. Our approach included the review of the company's corporate governance activities and all relevant policies and procedures. We obtained written representation through online questionnaires administered to the board members and conducted one-on-one -on -one interviews with the directors of key personnel of the company. The evaluation is limited in nature and as such not necessarily disclose all significant matters about the company or reveal irregularities, if any, in the underlying information. And on the basis of our work, the Board of Guaranteed Trust Holding Company, PLC, has complied with the requirements of the Central Bank of Nigeria's Code of Corporate Governance for other financial institutions in Nigeria, 2018, Securities Exchange Commission Code of Corporate Governance, 2011, and the FRC's Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance during the year ended 31st December 2021. Specific recommendations for the, for the further improvement of guaranteed trust holding company PLC corporate governance practices have been articulated and included in our detailed report to the board, signed Benson Uweru. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Gunoiki. So we are now up to uh, the Q&A questions and answers session. And uh, I would at this point uh, ask 
our esteemed shareholders who may have on the reports laid before the meeting. I see hands up already. Excellent. Uh, or general questions on the operations of the company. For shareholders online, as I said earlier, please indicate your intention to ask questions by using the raise your hand button on the uh, online platform or by typing your questions in the Q&A window. A roving microphone will be provided for shareholders uh, who are physically present. And I hereby request um, that if questions are being asked from the annual report, uh, please make reference to the appropriate page uh, in the, uh, so that the right answers can be given. Uh, in addition, we, are su we suggest that it would be helpful if members are brief and restrict their questions to one or two at a time to afford others the opportunity to speak. We also want to suggest that if someone else has made the reference to a particular question, the next speaker should probably address something else so that we have full coverage of the issues that are bothering our shareholders. Uh, we will take note of all the questions uh, that have been asked and we will respond at the end in order to effectively manage all the Q&A uh, the Q &A session. So each shareholder called upon should kindly state his name or her name before asking the questions. So I see hands up and I will go with the first right hand here. Thank you, our amiable chairman. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Tunji Bamidili. I'm a national president of Starlight Shareholder Association of Nigeria, representing both Shareholder Nigeria and Raspra in this meeting. Good morning, sir. Our amiable chairman did the first meeting of JITCO, Guarantee Holding PSC. We are welcome you to this meeting, sir, because you are chair this meeting for the first time. We are, we are really, really appreciate you. We really appreciate the board member, all the management team, and all the staff. By the grace of God, I believe God will continue to be with all of you. I will be brief according to your statement, sir. Before I can go on, I need to appreciate our group managing director, Mr. Segwa. Can you please clap for Mr. Segwa Gwadi? We have tried you for many years, and you have a success record. That is why we don't have any state to chair or to be the head of this operation, because I don't know from heaven God has destined you to be a leader, and we really appreciate you for that. <laughs> And so also, our chief financial officer, Mr. Adebanji Adeniyi. Really, I appreciate God in your life. Because in this company, we observe there is a fear of God and humility. So also, the company and other people in board. God will continue to be with all of you. And the people, all the workers, and esteemed shareholder, good morning. Permit me, we need to look at the report before us. On page 45 and 50, when we are considered the chairman's statement, I go through the report, and uh, let me say sincerely with the company secretary and the registrar, we got the report earlier, and we'll be able to peruse it to check everything, and it's excellent in that report. One, I noticed this company helping small-scale enterprises in this country. Not only this country, in Africa, in general. Likewise, manufacturing and agriculture, where we can find something to feed ourselves. They are happy, and we really appreciate you. We want you to put a little more effort for the company to move to the highest level. So, result at glance, we observe that uh, there's a little, little improvement, but we expect you to move a little bit up because we are expecting a dividend today, and by the next year, my chairman, 
I'm saying on behalf of all shareholders, we expect you to give all five naira dividend in this organization. I believe God will continue to be with you. Five naira is small for this company, and we are expecting ten naira upward. But let's start from five naira, sir. <laughs> sir, page 18, we need better explanation why the board nomination and IT are not met. They are not seated on this report. And in page 28, area of sustainability and climate change. What the company are doing to help this continent in the area of sustainability and climate change? What are you doing to improve the life of the people? And um, we need to look at it a bit. Sir, I want to appeal to the government of this nation. There's a lot challenging facing us. What the government, I want to appeal to the government on the area of uh, cash reserve ratio. In this continent, it's only Nigerian, our percentage is about 27.5. The other country in this Africa is around 11 to 12. The, the amount about resisted for operation in this country is about 9, 952 billion, which is, I think, the government should do something on it, please. On a cash reserve ratio, let the government come down to a certain level, whether around 15 and 12, you can be able to use the remaining one for the operation purpose. And uh, secondly, there is a lot of challenges in this country that hinder the op investment to move on. As an investor, please, I want the government to do certain things to help us. Finally, I need to appreciate the preparation of the financial statement, particularly uh, the office of uh, CFO. I go through, in fact, they simplify the result to the layman understanding. And uh, 346 pages, no error, no anything. But we need to give clap to all this week. We appreciate you, and God will continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you very much, Mr. Bamdele. Uh, yes, there. I'll come back to there. Yes. Wow. Uh, good morning to my able chairman the Board of Directors, regulatory here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm Comrade Lawrence Oguntoye, the Organizing Secretary of our Watch World Group, which comprises of a seven shareholders association. I want to say that uh, this is a year of celebration. It's a year of excellence. And also, it's also it's a year of appreciation from our hand, shareholder. I want to welcome our chairman on board, and I want to say that your time will result to the best sustainability and profitability, and we shall increase beyond this in Jesus' name. And uh, also, I can see my wonderful brother on the board, there is benefit after loyalty. My able brother, you are too much on that seat. Mr. Devanji Adeni, I know that you deserve it. I know you deserve it because you work proactively for the success of our, our giant bank. In spite of a COVID-19 pandemic, uh, environmental degradation, competition, economic pressure, uh, regulatory ash policy, we are able to present excellent results. I want to appreciate management as regards this, because looking at the financial indices, from the angle of a net loan and advance, I observed that uh, it was grew from 1.6 to 1.82 trillion. And this has to do with the retail banking and digital transaction. I may mention something last year, and I appreciate uh, the board and management under the, and also my Hebu uh, brother, our Hebu group managing director, Mr. Shegun Agbaji, that they should empower the high city the most so as to do best, better things. Because I observed that the digital transaction uh, adds to the sustainability and also the profitability and I can see the traces of uh, digital instruments in our profitability 
I want to appreciate the management for that. And also the dividend given, I want to say it's excellent. And also I noticed that our written earning grew fantastically from then 193 uh, 193 to 198. I want to appreciate management concerning this. And the due to JITCO culture, which invites through the good customer relation that enhances our profitability, customer uh, deposit grew from uh, uh, 3.509 trillion to 4.012 trillion. In spite of COVID 19 pandemic, I can see the hands of uh, the, the uh, uh, digital instruments which add value to this. I want to appreciate you. The total assets also from four points, four points something trillion to five points. This is fantastic. I want to appreciate you. And I was, I, it was also served from our envious financial reports that our subsidiary, yes, I noticed that all of us, most the, the subsidiary in the West Africa, East Africa, United Kingdom performed tremendously, in spite of the regulatory uh, policy and also the uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis. They performed excellently, and I want them to keep it up. And also on this note, I want to advise our management to mandate all staffs to understand the effect of a vaccine as against the COVID-19, which, which I noticed in our report that it's add to our sustainability. And I want to beseech the distinguished elder in the house to please say, take the vaccine in regard of their head twice as it is efficacious. And uh, it was also said that a JITCO acquisition, that's an assets management and pension fund business it's a welcome development. I want to appreciate the management as we get there because I could see that it's going to create an a employment opportunity, add receptive value to our bank and Nigerian economy, and it will add value to shareholders' interest. It will add to shareholders' interest. I want to appreciate that. When I go through the annual report, you know, I say it's an envious one. I, want, I could see that we are given award 2021. That is the best uh, bank, uh, or, uh, that's one Nigerian best 11 times, best retail bank in Nigeria. Yes, we are. We are. We are the best retail in Nigeria, most admired financial service brand in Africa for the second running. I want to appreciate you for this. Also, when I was going to the annual reports, I noticed that uh, we just have a new complex training built in Abel Kuta. That's fantastic. I want to appreciate Mr. Shegu Agbaje. Though I believe in your strategic plan, your synergy, all your plan is, is uh, they are superb. I know that you are going to do a magic one this time around. Uh, at this new new born baby, new business, new structure we just have here. I know you're going to do something wonderful this time. So I want to appreciate management concerning that, uh, and also the issue of area of CSR red. I could see that we partner with the Swiss Red Cross. I want to appreciate you concerning that. Show the advice to the advice. Uh, as government authority continue to withdraw their fiscal stimulus, I noticed that the monetary policy will be unfriendly this time around, and macroeconomic pressure will persist. I want to advise management should be that they should be dynamic in their operation so as to maintain positive financial position at every give, given point in time. Still on advice, I could see that the digital instrument contribute immensely to our growth and profitability. I want to advise the management should, that they should empower them the more, that the ICT, so as to function the more. Still on advice, I want to um, advise the management that they should, they should see to the e-dividend mandates at this digital world, so as to ease shareholders uh, to feed their to feed their personal data online 
with passports and to be sent back to the registrar site rather than to go to the office with unnecessary stress. Uh, before I go to the questions, okay, let me quickly go to the question. Let me go to the question. I only have just two questions here. One, uh, how do you survive at this time of inflation capacity, narrow devaluation, foreign exchange costs, and the regulatory ash policy? Two, concerning the, the new complex being built, so as to empower the youth in the area of the, uh, to, be, to, to have the financial capacity, so as to add more value to Nigeria economy. How can they share uh, uh, our children as a shareholder benefit from the new complex training built in Abelkuta? That's just the two questions, but before I submit, I cannot but to appreciate my wonderful brother, Mr. Shegun Agbadi, I will, be, I will not hesitate to appreciate uh, you being a genius man. You are the one that re-engineered this uh, uh, from GTV because it's a long way to go. It's, not, it's a stressful, but God give us ability uh, to achieve from GTV to GTCO. It isn't easy, but God make it easy for us. Uh, in your time, I know you are going to, you, you are going to re-engineer restructure and also re-strategize the JITCO to uh, this time of economy pressure. I believe in you. I believe in your capacity. I believe in your wisdom. I believe in your strategy. And I know that you're going to perform magic one this time around. So may you continue to work stronger in wisdom and understanding. Awesome. Thank, Thank you for you. that. So the CA before I saw me, my chairman, uh, my able accessible company secretary, very diligent man, an effective company secretary barrister, uh, AIM. You also perform excellently. We appreciate you. But kindly extend our sincere regards to Toluan. She has been very proactive. She's been very, very proactive. I really appreciate that lady. She communicates to us. So on the final note, I want to say that we're going to maximize our relationship from the pool of our professionalism towards the JITCO sustainability and development. I want to say congratulations to the JITCO. I want to say congratulations to Nigerian shareholder, where I wish every one of us safe journey to our respective world. Thank you for the opportunity. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, the first one or the last? No, this one is on. Uh, let's take a lady in the middle, please. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, the eminent shareholder, and the regulator authority present here. This is the first and amazing AGM of JITSCO. I really appreciate the board, the wisdom board that we have on this board. Going to the dividend, they really tried, because each time I had that uh, JITCO, formerly uh, guaranteed trust, the AGM is coming. I always love it because I know my dividend today is useful for me. I use it in doing something better. So I really comment on the board for your effort and the staff. Sir, in this annual report, is a good one. In some companies, they don't reckon disabled. But JITCO have three in the course of year. They did not look at the... Uh, sorry. Let me see it. They did not look at their disability. They really give them job and they were doing it. Sir, 
I want to thank our MD for the having wisdom to develop DITCO. I want to ask you a DITCO holding. I want to ask you a question, sir. What is the benefit of the shareholder in this our new strategized uh, development? You will gain our support, shareholder support, because the way our MD and the board are taking this company it's to higher level and we really support we, we share on this side will give you a lot of support but we want to know what is our benefits on it we thank the nomin nomination uh, committee of JITCO today the cake we are celebrating it's from the board and those nomination committee has done better job because if we don't have good board our, our, our dividend today it is not what will be thanking this board whenever shareholder that are not present thinking of our company, they always smile. Most especially from my association. Each time they know our company is coming up with AGM, they know their dividend is there. We thank you very, very much. And the opportunity that is given to less privilege is very, very attractive. Most of the company would think when you are disabled, you cannot perform, but our company did not. Mm -hmm. The award that the company received during the course of year, we appreciate it. Because if I if the workforce is not there, we will not be able to take this award. We, we thank the board for receiving. Somebody has made mention of it, but I have to lay emphasis again on it. Keep, keep it up, and we we'll always support you. I remain Mrs. Mrs. Obide Nishopeju. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay, Day. Any questions online? Here first, okay. You have been very patient. Please, next one. You know where no. <laughs> It don't be called as caro. <laughs> Mr. Chairman of our great company, GT Holding Company PSC, distinguished director of our company, eminent fellow shareholder, good morning. My name is Okizia Boniface. I am the national chairman of Progressive Shareholders in Nigeria. Mr. Chairman, Our great company, AGM, has been a year of celebrations in a time like this. But unfortunately, the pandemic, I know, is slowing down. And that what we're having is country hall today, not as usual, of Carnival, of Grantee Trust Holding Company. This is the first since we migrated. 
Mr. Chairman, I want to commend this board for being proactive when we passed the resolution last year to put put into holding company. It didn't take time. You file all the necessary papers and got the approval. Today, we are holding the first AGM of this company, not the bank. The bank today has become our subsidiary, contributing largely to what we are discussing today, or the dividend are being paid coming from the bank. In the past, this company, this bank, as it was then, the bank, were having a, a subsidiary of Mansard Insurance Company. We have it. We established it. We funded it. And was doing also very well. And listed at a change was a quoted company and one of our subsidiary. Because of the inconsistency in policy of the government, we have to show that good brand of this company. Mr. Chairman, today we have only the one bank as a subsidiary. Because all the branches we have banked today all remain subsidiary of the bank, contributing largely. I want to urge this board to create more company, since we are now holding company, so that we have a pool of resources coming from them. And by the time they begin to nurture, all of them will be contributing so that the bottom line will be up there. The issue of trade naira will be a thing of the past. By the time, because we know the track record of this company, that whatever we lay a hand upon is always done good and magic. And the Granted Trust Holding Company, PAC, will replicate that as soon as possible. So that when we have the, another insurance company, another merchant bank, whatever, as our subsidiary, they will begin to contribute their pool, at least giving them from time, three years, four years, they nurture the gradations, they begin to drop. At least we'll be stop coming, going here, five naira, as people said. It's doable. Granted Trust can do that. I know the capable of the board and management. Before Shegu finally retire from this very company, he must pay us 10 naira. It's achievable. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, despite that this is overregulated, whether the financial industry or the banks, today we are talking about financial conglomerate. This is what the company stands for. You are competing with your regulators. The regulator is almost doing what you are doing. If you look at the, where we are subject to the penalties, almost 802 million, almost 1 billion, penalize you. These are things you can't even argue. A boy that's recording there, not even the CBN governor. By the time you say Jack, they're already penalized because the money is, they, is, in, is in their vote. You don't argue with them. And this is why you're killing business in this country. When the operator competing with a regulator, that's nothing good. SEC is doing his own there. CBN is doing their own. NDS is doing their own. But despite a lot of these things, we are paying heavily, supporting them. It's very too bad. And that's why business is not succeeding in the country. They are killing business and winding up as a result of lawlessness, recklessness, so-called regulators. How do we go from there? Who would have been paying more today of an era? Apart from one band that have age over you, 10 cobra, and we're, they are running, you are running naked and naked to them. There's no other bank today in the country that we're able to pay such dividend. There's none. There is none. Even yet to come. And that's why GT has been maintained because you do your business gently. But those things, penalty, is avoidable. Mr. Chairman, we won't continue with this, our regulators. Mr. Chairman, I have also here on page 228, I need more explanations. If we look at audit auditors' remunerations, Ernst and Young are the ones who do the board evaluations and the auditors of our account. We paid about one point something billion. Mr. Chairman, you can tell me it's a consolidated account they are taking. But coming on that two page eight eight, we find out here. 
I don't repeat validation, six million. Board evaluation, 15 million. Put the young guy red right there. NDSC certification, two million. Totaling about 23 million, which is Einstein Young. Name created Antonio Putin, Antonio Putin. Wouldn't it have been those one point something billion lob over there? Or we moved another company to do this job instead of them to handle it and collecting all the money. Because a lot of people today have no job. So we shouldn't be giving one company to any when others are scrambling to make ends meet. The chairman was able to, that's the means of diversification. Others who have been qualified, registered, they are looking for a job. Give them those jobs and let them handle what they are doing. We cannot lob the two jobs together with them. I found out that, that, you know, I know it's one of the consulting they did that resulted for this one, you know. It is not personally to Anthony that I stated here. I think that's the, the senior partner or whatever, Esther Young. Mr. Chairman, on the communication technology related expenses and expenses, yes, it's high, 18 billion, as again 14 in previous years. But I think technology is the cutting edge of these institutions. And that's how our bank will be able to even give us train era dividend. As a hook, hook, we have not done much now. We are just coming as a company. We have not done anything to end any income to pay dividends. It's the bank. Without technology, they can't drive their business. So if you are spending that much, I won't raise eyebrow, I won't quarrel over it. Because technology, even at the head office, you know, we are not resumed fully there to transact business. People are still doing it from home or whatever, you know. And I'm asking the management today to reopen that head office branch. We're losing money there. The COVID is winding down. Uh, we are not the maker of the COVID. It won't come to our bank. GMD opened that branch. Fought with. People, a lot of people are going there. And when they go there, some people want to transact business at the head of this branch. Not the other, other branch, you know. So when we continue to close for running two years now, it is not good. We are losing revenue. We must take into consideration of these things. It's very important, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, you look at, as I said here, on page 288, that's the penalties. Penalty paid. If we have that money today, that money we pay to Central Bank. Or to the, they collected from us. We didn't pay them. They collected from us. It's by force. He can argue. That's the, that's the whole profit of a company. Is it not true, shareholders? Yes. That's the true profit of some companies. Yes. Some companies can not even make 108 million at this period. Where are they coming, going to come from? They can't make such profit. And somebody will collect in it. These are debatable, but you can't argue with them. So, CBN, you need to have to be careful. You need to be careful. You people are killing business. That boy on that desk that did the recommendation, and your guy approved because he recommended. You are killing business. CBN today is competing with the commercial banks. You do go into agriculture, you go into financing politicians, you go into this and that. You go into electricity, I have a habit. That is not what the bank, road construction, bridges, you finance. Bank of England, are they doing so? American Bank Reserve, are they doing so? These people you should emulate. It's why our own so different. When people begin to look at these books, how would they read the Central Bank of Nigeria? That why drive joy, penalizing bank, competing with them. These are things you can reprimanded the I'll issue a query. That's how the regulators should operate. Not sanded them with penalties. You push be careful. You can't can run a business. You can't create one. And you are killing one that existed. You don't know how these young people are suffering. Some of them are aging. They close late, making sure 
that all stakeholders have benefited. And you are kind of rubbishing what they are doing. People should take time. I'm telling you. Sergis on his own. Look at the bank that publishing a whole brief booklet on claim dividend. And you're mopping the money up. They say it's about 200 billion. And the DMO is managing it. People have been besieging registrars to collect their money. They can't have it. Because SEC have pulled out all that the banks are declared or companies are declared. How do we go forward? This country has become a lawless country. There is no respect of law any longer. Return those money. Granted trust holding company declaring dividend today. You want people to claim it at a, at a go? No. How many have migrated to electronic mandate? Just how many have done that? You do the continuous educations, enlightenment, awareness, and the regulator is not doing that. Within six months, you mop up the money. That company that declared it, have, have they gone into extinctions? They are saying that money should reside in the company. If the owner have not come forward to claim it, the company that declared that money should reside there. That's how it should be. And when the client comes forward to claim the money, the companies have to pay interest on it with the money generated from it. And regulator is packing this money going to Abuja. And he said we should succeed. Look at what this company has paid. Let me read to you. Mr. Chairman, on page 69, go and see donations here. Check is running away. One to go and pee. <laughs> page 69. Mr. Chairman, this is what you are giving back to the society. And somebody will be penalizing you unnecessarily. Look at Kofi, what you did in Kofi. Today, government have dismantled those infrastructures. In the next year to come, we can't see it again. But it's at this company, donated such for institutions to remain, for people to have accessible to health facilities. And we are still surcharging these such companies. Why would they exist? Is it when the company is better, the society will be better for it? Undergraduate today, unemployment have taken over. There's no way of employed. People have graduated, their parents suffered, they finished youth service, nobody can absorb them. But this company is absorbing these youths into their system and paying them heavy salary. And which government should be calling them by way of tax incentive? We are not getting it, you know. You are pulling out which one who are already made. We can't continue. We will speak out. And when we speak out, nobody will die. People are afraid. I know the chairman cannot speak. Mr. You are regulators. Mr. Chairman, don't hold your microphone. I'm not yet done. Please, I'm not finished. Okay. Don't hold your microphone. Don't rush me. Because you can't confront them. We are one to confront them. So what am I summarizing? You have done very well. I am not talking about GT today because you have done very well. People must celebrate this company, this great company. But I'm talking of our institution, regulators, that ought to make things to work the way it should work. But they are killing business. They are killing the industry. People who want to float back cannot even float because the way we are running our system. Mr. Chairman, I must also, even though I'm rounding up, but I am so annoyed this morning because what is happening in our society and environment. It's not encouraging. It's not encouraging. It's not encouraging, Mr. Chairman. I want to see, Mr. Chairman, the donation we give to police renovations. Do we impact that project by ourselves, get our own contractor to execute, or we just donate those money to police to handle? Because you got a lot of stations, barracks today, are not way for people even to live. And that's why we have restated in this pro AGM over and over. The GT that are donating this money should have our contractor to go execute those projects. They're giving them to the August. This money will be diverted. That's the truth. We must say it. I don't know who much is donated there, but we should not give it to hand. Let's get our contractors, go and do the job, and we pay them. So put our name there. The GT renovated this building. The police barrack will be happy with you. They give me this money to top hierarchy. 
which they diverted. Mr. Chairman, on the page 50, you stated of edifice being built to mortalize our former ND, the late Aderico. I have to commend the board. Let it be the Hall of Fame that every past director that has started this company, my sister is there to do on the board, who were former DMD, Catherine, Wakego, Echoza. Okay? Because she had done well. That's why you brought her back to serve on this board. Hence, she was deputy managing director. Our able and amiable company secretary in the past, who was also raised to ED, Omotola Olitaya, fine lady. All of them should have their picture frame keep in that edifice. That's how it should be. That's why this, my brother took, took over from her. She started her. She did very well to relating to shareholders. Mr. Chairman, you came on board now this morning, even Shegu. He didn't greet shareholders. He wanted the guys to sit sat down. But the company secretary is doing that on your behalf, relating very well to us and, his, and the team. And that's why the shareholder can come here and say, taking your report as read. We will say, Chairman, read. Because we know this has gone out early with the, our able and, and working hard registrars. We don't see it time to time. But we see every is not there for us. If you have a question, they call him. He will call back. I said, what how this bank is faring? You know? Because all of you will walk and go down to as if the coffee is uh, the marketing everybody, you know. But they relate to us. Nobody them have catch COVID by shaking hands. America is shaking hands today. Why are we not shaking hands and greeting ourselves? We come with friends as if we are quarreling. We are not quarreling. This is a happy family. And that's what I'm saying. Mr. Chairman, there is things we should not be. No, Zubek. Please, 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 please. Uh, we need to. Uh, yes, I'm running up now. Up. I'm running up now. Online, please. I am running up now. Mr. Chairman, you look at the income expenses. Mr. Boniface, one Yes, minute. that's one, the last. One, one. Income expenses, okay. Mr. Chairman, we need to look at it. The Bankers Committee must go and look the ways to stop this nonsense going forward. Thank you. Bankers must look the means to end their earning, not relying on the companies or the banks. It's not acceptable any longer. Having said that, Granted Trust were, ho were hoping that next year, this dividend shall be bigger than what we are receiving this year. Amen God bless all of us. We'll be alive to see what this great company will do. God bless all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, in the interest of time, we'll take one more question from the online. I don't know how that will work. Could they be? Do you have a question? No? We have a question from Mrs. Isionye Agu, the National Coordinator of Breadfruit Shareholders Association. Oh, it's a mister. Sorry. He is online to speak. Sorry. Would we hear it somewhere? Good morning. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, my name is Mr. Isionye Agubata. I'm a shareholder of this fantastic orange brand. I would like to thank the chairman, the board, and management of GTCO for the job so far. Can you hear me? Okay, so I would, I would also like to specially appreciate the group managing director, Shegun Agbaje, for the very, very good job well done. As a shareholder, I'm, I'm really endeared, you know, by his exemplary and visionary bias for the higher standards. GTCO is known for uniqueness as well. I'm very happy to see that the bank has evolved into a holding structure, which I believe would allow her to take advantage of new business opportunities in this emerging competitive landscape. And um, of course, strengthen our own earnings as uh, shareholders. 
Uh, I would also like to point out that um, special appreciation to Shego Agbaje and the brand also for our, our involvement in tackling this uh, menace of COVID-19 pandemic when it laid siege on our shores. It was fantastic. It was the most humane thing the brand could have done. We were one of the first to rise to the occasion in setting up facilities and providing ventilators, oxygen, drugs, and medical staff. It's also very obvious that the Orange brand will bring us more returns on our investments with the launch of the payments company, Abari Pay, and then the acquisitions that are leading to the pension managers and uh, funds management subsidiaries. So my prayer is that uh, God will continue to bless us, keep us, and grow our wealth. With one orange in 2020, with one orange in 2020, we saw three naira. I'm sure with more orange in 2022, we will definitely see sustainable growth. Thank you very much. Chief. Additional. Additional. Yeah. Is the online done? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, Chief Additional, special recognition, please. Good morning, the chairman, members Please, of the board. You may be seated, sir. Thank you, sir. Members of the board of GT Co., distinguished fellow shareholders, regulatory authority representatives here. I appreciate the progress Guarantee Trust Bank has made to come or to become GT Co. In this, we have great expectations and we know where we are going. With the good corporate governance principle with which this company is being uh, run and maintained, and this has been over the years, even before corporate governance principle became enforced in Nigeria, guarantee trust, bank, uh, guarantee trust Bank has been practicing it, and now we are transformed to GT Co. We thank uh, the board, staff, and management for the way this company is being run. GT Co is going to be a threat to some of the comp to some of the businesses that have been cheating this nation because GT Co will operate in such a transparent way that even the prices of our goods we shall start to feel whether it is the same product we are buying now or what we have been uh, buying before. I praise the company and uh, also I want to comment on the auditors. The auditors, we know you have been working very hard and your fee now has jumped to billions. I hope by the time we go to observe internal control of financial reporting, our fees will not go to trillions because we have already reached billions now. And it is so in all the banks. Softly, softly, we want you to trade because it is the money of these poor, of we poor people that are gathered together that 
the board management of man, the board and management of this company of this company are managing and they are reproducing it, thereby giving us a profit. We thank them. We thank the staff, management, and the board of Guarantee Trust Holding. And we uh, say that more grace to your elbows, and the Lord will continue to make our activities accident-free. God will protect the lives of each and every one of us, both shareholders and the management and staff. Thank you very much. My name is Chief Timothy Adishinyon, the patron of Nigerian Shareholders Solidarity Association, established by late Ashiwaju Akinori Asalu of blessed memory. Thank you. God bless you all, sir. Thank you very much, Chief. Um, thank you all so much, shareholders. We have uh, reached the end of the question session. So I now invite uh, Group CEO Shegun to uh, address as many of the questions as he could in the time left. Thank you, distinguished shareholders. Let me start by apologizing, at least on behalf of myself, um, for not saying good morning. It's not an attempt to be rude. It's just an, observant or an observance of COVID protocols. So we all apologize. We like to see our shareholders, but we also want to keep everybody safe. So let me thank, start uh, Mr. Tunje Bamidele. Thank you very much on behalf of the board and management um, for your warm comments. <clears throat> we will continue to do the best we can. And as I answer these questions, hopefully, <clears throat> I'll give you more clarity, a bit more clarity on how GTCO, the holding company, is evolving. In terms of SME support, we will continue to do that. I will take the question on increased dividends. By God's grace, we will increase dividends. I think 10 years ago, we weren't even paying one Naira in dividends. Now we're paying three Naira. So I've been challenged that before I leave this position, I should give 10 Naira. So my prayer and desire too is that I will pay 10 Naira before I leave. Um, IT... All the things we're doing, you commend us. Thank you very much. Um, we still have a long, long way to go. You mentioned CRR being too high at 27.5. We also think CRR is too high. But for those who have read the annual report, who like it as bedtime reading, our CRR is actually 37%, not 27.5. So it's actually higher than 27.5. So we also look forward to a day when CRR will be like other African countries. Mr. Lawrence Ogutoe, again, appreciates what the board is doing. Thank you very much. The results, we're not completely happy with the results, to be honest with you. We think they're very strong regulatory headwinds, which we're facing. They're monitoring fiscal policy headwinds. And that once we come out of that, hopefully we'll be able to give you better results in 2022 and beyond. Uh, we did give our best, and that was what you saw in 2021. But we would like to do a lot better than we did in 2021. In terms of vaccines, you're right. I think we have about 60 to 70 percent of the organization fully vaccinated. So we'll continue to do that. Our belief is that vaccination really is the only way to deal with COVID and that COVID is here to stay and that we just have to deal with it, which is why we're here. In terms of the holding company, maybe I'll answer the question here, I think, because Mr. Boniface had said that all we have is a bank. Well, I'd like to inform you that we have more than a bank today and that since you gave us approval to become a holding company, we concluded the acquisition of a pension fund administration company um, we also completed the acquisition 
of an asset management company. So you will this year see those results. I also assure you that none of those franchises will make a loss in 2022, which means they'll add a little bit of money, um, but you'll have to give them, like you said, about three years, and I'm sure you'll start to see meaningful contribution. We also have an approval in principle for a switching and processing license from the central bank. We hope that in the next month or two, we will also have a payment company. So Mr. Boniface, we're more than a bank, um, even as we are today. In terms of awards, you know, awards have to be given to really the staff who work tirelessly. Um, the board and executive management you see are such a small percentage of the success of the organization. And so I always like to dedicate the awards to the numerous people who you don't see behind the scenes who do a lot of hard work. Abel Kuta is our training school. Thank you very much. We're very proud of it. We actually believe we have the best training center of any financial institution and possibly any company in Nigeria today. We intend to use it to continue to retain and train the talent that you have in the organization, which continues to contribute. CSR, any good organization that makes money in a society must give back to that society. So we are dedicated and committed to CSR. We will not make money in any environment and not give back. We don't even think that that is spiritually correct. Um, you said, how will we combat monetary and fiscal policy headwinds? We will continue to. You saw some of that last year. You know, we did navigate. We ended 7% down last year. But, you know, it is what we do, hopefully, and hopefully we'll do it better and better. We will combat the, the headwinds. He also asked a direct question that with all the FX problems, with inflation, cost inflation, supply side inflation, how will we survive? We will survive. Uh, we've survived for 31 years and we will continue to. Headwinds are things you have to navigate. Challenges are rungs and a ladder that you have to overcome. Challenges never last forever. We might as a country be going to a couple of tough times, but it's not unique to Niger. The world is going through tough times. America's seen inflation of 8.5. The UK's seen inflation of 6%. These are temporary things, and we will navigate, keep the organization strong, and overcome all these headwinds. Um, how can your children take advantage of Abel Kuta Training School and young people? Have them work for us. We'll train them there, make them better people. Um, you expect GT Co Holding Company to do great things. We pray and expect great things as well. We did not go down this journey because we had nothing better to do. We went down the journey of becoming a holding company because we saw a changing landscape of competition. We saw fintechs, we saw telcos, we saw insurance companies, we saw asset management companies beginning to fight for the business of banks. And that the best way to compete with competition is to create your own vehicle and be able to compete effectively and on a level playing field. So we also expect great things. By God's grace, they will happen. Mrs. Ogude, um, I hope I... Obide, sorry, um, I was trying. You actually didn't say your name at the beginning, so I caught it at the end. Um, your game, you also would like to thank the board. Thank you very much. We are paying three Naira dividend for this year. We hope we'll be able to pay better. Disability employment is a priority. There must be no discrimination, and if anything, you must continue to help those who are less fortunate and are not blessed with your physical attributes. You ask categorically what the benefit to shareholders of a holding company structure will be. All these businesses belong to you, which means that all the money they make, we will eventually consolidate and pay out as dividends. But please don't rush us into paying them out as dividends. Let us grow the businesses, grow those brands. And eventually the benefit to you is the 10 naira Mr. Boniface wants. 
I'm not sure that if we stayed a bank, we could ever pay you 10 naira dividends. But I think with a holding company structure and by diversifying the income base and the money we'll make from the other businesses, we have a chance to one day pay you 10 naira dividends. So that is the benefit. You also like the awards. Um, again, like I said, on behalf of the staff, I will humbly pass on your appreciation on the awards. Mr. Boniface, I think I've apologized to you. Um, again, I don't think I have COVID, but you wouldn't want me to pass it on to you. So we're all trying to be very careful. Again, I hope I've explained the holding company structure. Um, Basie, we've talked about the dividends. Penalties, let me say that I would like to apologize on behalf of all of us for the penalties. Penalties are not things we are proud of. Um, sometimes these penalties happen because even the CBN has tracking devices that are probably ahead of us, and so sometimes we fall foul. And so I would like to actually apologize for penalties, and hopefully we'll be able to avoid them going forward. Auditor remuneration. Well, you have the audit committee to blame for that, so I can palm it off to them. However, I do believe that the auditors earn the money. The organizations are getting larger and larger. The operations are getting more and more complex. The processes are getting more and more complex. One or two of the speakers spoke about digitalization. I mean, we're, we're living in a digital world. There's cyber insecurity. A lot of things have changed where the remuneration you have to give your auditors has to, so that they can have the people who have the expertise to deal with this challenge in environment. So I would please ask that you bear with the fees and I, I would like to believe that they are well earned. Um, head office branch closed, Mr. Boniface. Mr. Boniface obviously, is, he's a, he doesn't believe we have COVID anymore. Unfortunately, we still have COVID, and if we have a breakout in head office, it means operations grind to a halt. And so even though we've opened every other branch in the country, we've kept the head office branch closed to protect head office staff. That kind of is the powerhouse in the engine, and if you shut that down, then it creates too many problems. But we will look at reopening as we feel that the environment becomes safer and safer. The police station donations, that was done by the Bankers Committee. It was a result of NSAS. If you remember, a lot of police stations were burnt down during the NSAS riot. And one of the initiatives of the Bankers Committee was to rebuild those police stations. I believe the contracts were properly awarded. I think they went through proper due process and due diligence and that they were given to people who were deserving of it. Amcon expenses, unfortunately, I think Amcon's here to stay. Um, Amcon was meant to be 10 years, but I think it will be extended. And as your balance sheet grows, the Amcon levies will grow, as you have seen. Our Amcon, Amcon expenses went up by 27% um, last year. So it's almost like the more successful you are, the more your Amcon levy goes up goes up, and I'm not sure that's going to go away anytime soon. Um, yes, and I think, okay, we had an online from Mr. Agubati, I think, and he wanted to thank the board and management. Thank you very much. He likes the Holdco model. That always brings us joy. We are very convinced about this model, and you will see as we start to roll it out, that it will diversify the earnings base and make us a more successful and stronger financial services franchise. Onico, which we built, thank you very much. That was our first project during COVID, and I think it was very welcome at the time. The new verticals will contribute even in 2022. They probably won't give you material contributions in 2022 because they will only run for about six months but I'm very confident that in about three years they will. 
I remember we used to sit in this room, and I wish uh, Sonny Wosu was here. And he always used to give me a hard time about subsidiaries outside Nigeria. And that why were we outside Nigeria? We were wasting time. We were wasting money. Well, today, those subsidiaries are 23.5% of group profit. And that if you're patient enough and you believe in us, we will deliver. And in the same way you were patient with us, with the banks outside Nigeria, which are 23.5%, I please plead that you be patient with us with these new businesses and then three to five years they will do the same like we did outside Nigeria. Mr. Adeshio, thank you very much. You've been with us for a long time. You've been with us on this journey. And so we take that as a real sure faith and we do appreciate it. You have been one of our earliest shareholders and you're still here. And for as long as you're still here, we must be doing something right. Corporate governance is in our DNA. Doesn't mean that we're perfect, but we will continue to push strong corporate governance. We actually believe there's a positive correlation between profitability and corporate governance. And that if you look at companies that are profitable consistently, not one-offs, over a long period of time, you will also see companies that have strong corporate governance. And so it's something we will continue to do. Again, I beg and plead on behalf of auditor remuneration. And um, I would like to promise you that I think that the money is earned as the organizations are becoming a bit more complex. I have two comments which I'll just read through very quickly. We came online. One from, was from Alaku Joseph. Wanted to commend the board and management for working so hard. Um, he's still asking me about bonus shares. We won't do bonus shares, but we'll continue to opt the dividends. Bonus shares don't really do much for an organization. I think it's better for organizations to retain their profitability, work hard, make more money, and pay it out as dividends. Um, the last one is from Jonathan. And again, I think he would just like to thank the board and management. And he wants us to... I think he wants us to do something at a bus stop somewhere, so I'll hand that over to the corporate communications people and see if it's something that we'll be able to oblige. Thank you very much. So on your behalf, esteemed shareholders, and on the behalf of the board, those present and those absent, uh, please, uh, I want us all to appreciate the performance of this management team led by the group uh, CEO, Sheikh Mwagwaje. I uh, accept all the commendations you all have made to him. And also, his uh, very enabling and uh, competent and efficient and motivated staff that make all the runnings and all the things uh, that GT code that you're all proud of make it work. So on our behalf, thank you very much, uh, Shedden and the team. So we are now up to the section on uh, resolutions. Um, we have gone through the uh, list of resolutions we need to uh, approve at this meeting. And uh, let's be informed that in exercise of the powers conferred on me by virtue of Section 248.1a of the Kama, we hereby call a poll on resolutions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, and 10. So excluding 7. Consequently, the voting on the said resol resol resolutions would be conducted electronically. So voting will be by poll, which means that every shareholder voting in person or by proxy shall be entitled to one vote for every share that he or she holds. The statutory majority required to approve the resolutions is a simple majority, meaning 50.1% for ordinary resolutions of the total votes cast of shareholders present and voting, either in person or proxy at this meeting. And I confirm that shareholders have sent in their proxy forms 
indicating how their uh, votes will be cast. So at this point, I would explain to you, um, uh, many, many people have done this many, many times before, but for the sake of uh, protocol, let's go through that, um, how the electronic voting procedure will work. So when you registered, each proxy was given an electronic voting pad, which we're going to use to vote by, by the poll. There are 10 numbers, 1 to 10, on the right side of the pad. I'm looking at mine now. Uh, please ignore those numbers. They are not necessary for this particular uh, event. On the left side, you would see four colored uh, buttons. A white button says sign in. A green button indicating yes. A red button indicating no. And a yellow button that says abstain if you do not wish to vote on the resolution. Please note that if you press the yellow button, it will not be counted in the final tally of votes cast for the resolution. There are also two red buttons blinking at the top of the voting card. And check if yours is not blinking, please press the white button to activate your sir, in order to enable you to vote. I, that's the first resolution, Mr. Boniface. Yeah. So once we commence voting, uh, you are required to press the green button indicating yes and red for no or abstain as we have said. Please only press one button. So we shall now commence e-voting on the resolutions and the uh, voting results of each resolution will be announced at the end of the electronic voting process for that resolution. Mrs. Ernst and Young will uh, act as scrutineers throughout the voting exercise, which will be anchored by the registrar. So as Mr. Boniface properly uh, uh, counted, the first resolution on the agenda is to receive and consider the audited financial statements for the year ended December 20, uh, 31, 2021, and the reports for the directors, auditors, and statutory audit committee thereon. Section 377 of CAMA mandates the directors of a company to prepare these financial statements each year uh, to include the director's report, the auditor's reports, and the report of the statutory audit committee. Directors are required to present before the shareholders of the company at general meetings copies of the financial statements of the company made up to a date not exceeding nine months preceding the date of the meeting. As the resolution being proposed is an ordinary resolution, a majority of 50.1% is required uh, for the resolution to be approved. So you'll have 30 seconds to vote on the resolution, and so we will proceed with the first resolution, that is to receive the audited financial statements ended December 31, 2021, and the reports for the auditors, directors, and statutory audit committee uh, thereon. May I have a seconder for the motion, please? Thank you. I second the motion. Okay, dear Boniface. Thank you very much, Mr. Boniface. Uh, so, ready to vote? Please vote now. Who's keeping the 30 seconds clock? There's a counter. Where? Oh. 
You have ten, nine seconds, five seconds, two seconds. Voting is over. Voting is over. So, I now call on the registrar to display the voting results. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At the end of voting, 99.95% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, following the announcement of the voting results by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to receive the audited financial statements of the year ended December 31, 2021, and the reports of the auditors, the directors, and the statutory audit committee thereon has been duly carried. Our monitor is broken. The second resolution on the agenda is to declare a dividend. We have all been waiting for this. Uh, recall that the company paid an interim dividend in the sum of 30 cobo per ordinary share for the half year ended June 30, 2021. Directors are proposing the payment of an additional two naira 70 cobo per ordinary share as final dividend to shareholders whose names appear in the company's register at the close of business on Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022, bringing the total dividend to be paid for the 2021 financial year to three naira per ordinary share of 50 cobo each. We will now proceed with the resolution to pay a final dividend in the sum of two naira 70 cobo per ordinary share. May I have a seconder for the motion, please? Oh, I'll add it. I'll add it. Okay. Mr. Chairman, are you seeing me? <laughs> yes, I am now. At last. Yes. My name is Kabiru Abdullahi Tambali, shareholder from Sokoto State. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I have a second motion for the dividend. You're I was, welcome. I was so. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. So we will now continue with the uh, uh, e-voting process. Again, press the uh, buttons as we have said. Results will be announced at the end of the voting. We have 30 seconds to vote. Again, please vote now. See the counter now. You have ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Voting is over. Voting Thank is you. over. I hereby call on the registrar to announce and display the voting results. At the end of voting on this resolution, a hundred percent of shareholders <laughs> present. <laughs> In person or by proxy, voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, following the announcement of the voting results by the registrar, I hereby declare that a resolution to declare a dividend the sum of two naira seventy cobo per ordinary share to shareholders whose names appear in the company's register of members at the close of business on. Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022, bringing the total dividend to be paid for 2021 financial year to three naira per ordinary share of 50 cobo share has been duly carried. Thank you. Elijah, I'm really sorry, uh, but we'll see you after the conference. The uh, next uh, resolution is to uh, shareholders' approval to elect and re elect directors who are retiring. Again, these uh, results will be conducted individually. 
Uh, and at this stage, I will ask the group CEO to take over the proceedings uh, for the uh, election of their directors. Hello. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In the course of the year, Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola was appointed as a non-executive director and chairman of the company. The appointment of Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola has been approved by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola is accordingly being proposed firstly for election and secondly for re-election as a non-executive director retiring by rotation in accordance with the provisions of the Articles of Association, which requires all non-executive directors to retire at the first annual general meeting of the company. A detailed bio data of Mr. Oyilola is available on pages 14 and 66 of the annual report, and therefore I will take it as read. I hereby present to you Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola. Okay. All right, can I please have a seconder for the motion? Thank you very much, sir. We will now commence the e-voting process. Miss, are we, have we started? Can I start it, please? Yeah, have 20, 19. 15 seconds. Voting is over. Okay. Yes, can you please display the result? Oh, sorry, I didn't, see, uh, sorry, that one's not working. <laughs> Uh, okay, thank uh, you very much. I have not announced that. Okay, I've got At the it. end of the voting, 86.46% of shareholders present in person and by proxy voted on the resolution. Thank you. I hereby declare that the resolution to elect and re-elect Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola as a non-executive director has been duly carried. I would like to thank the distinguished shareholders for the election and re-election of Mr. Hezekiah Oyilola. In view of the election and re-election of Mr. Oyilola as non-executive director, he shall continue to serve as chairman of our esteemed company. I therefore invite the chairman to consider proceedings at this meeting with the next resolution. I thank the esteemed shareholders of this company for my re-election and re-election. Uh, thank you, thank you, Shagun, uh, for that. We, thank you. We will now continue with the uh, next resolution, which is the election uh, resolution to elect Mr. Shagun Agbaje as a, a director, the group chief executive of the company. <laughs> uh, in the course of the year, Mr. Agbaje was appointed the group CEO of the company. His appointment has been approved by the Central Bank of Nigeria. <laughs> Mr. Sheikh Agbaje is accordingly being proposed for election as a director. His detailed bio data is available on pages 14, 15, 66, and 67 of the annual report. I hereby present to you, Mr. Shekun Agbaje. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we need a seconder. Mr. Chairman, thank sure you, sir. Are... 
My name is Tunde Badmos. I hereby second the <laughs> election well. of our group <laughs> managing director, <laughs> CEO. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So now we can vote. Tell us when we are ready to vote, Ms. Madam Registrar. Ready? Please vote now. Voting has started, please. Thank you. Voting is over. Display. Madam Registrar. At the end of voting, 86.48% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Following the announcement of the voting results by the Registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to elect Mr. Shegwagbaje as director has been duly carried. So I would like to thank the distinguished shareholders for the confidence and for the election of Mr. Sheikh Agbaje. We will now vote on the resolution to re-elect and elect Mr. Suleiman Barao as independent non-executive director of the company. Uh, in the course of the year, Mr. Barao seen here on the uh, screens, uh, OON, was appointed as an independent non-executive director of the company. His appointment has been approved by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mr. Suleiman Barao is accordingly being proposed firstly for election and secondly for re-election as an independent non-executive director retiring by rotation in accordance with the provisions of the Articles of Association, which requires all non-executive directors to retire the first AGM of the company. A detailed biodata of Mr. Barrow is available on pages 15 and 67 of the annual report. I hereby present to you Mr. Suleiman Barrow. So, May I have a seconder, please? please. My name is Benga Edo. I oh. hereby second the motion. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edo. So, please vote now, Madam Registrar. Voting has started. Voting is over. Results. At the end of voting, 87.02% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Registrar. <laughs> Following the announcement of the voting results by the Registrar, I hereby declare that a resolution to elect and re-elect Mr. Suleiman Barao as independent non-exec director has been duly carried. I thank the esteemed shareholders for the election of Mr. Suleiman Barao. We will now vote on the resolution to elect and re-elect Mrs. Helen Buig as an independent non-executive director of the company. In the course of the year, Mrs. Buig was appointed as an independent non-executive director of the company and her appointment has been approved by the CBN. Mrs. Helen Lee Buig is accordingly being proposed firstly for election and secondly for re-election as an independent non-executive director, retiring by rotation in accordance with the provisions of the Articles of Association, which requires all non-executive directors to retire the first AGM of the company. 
Detailed bio data is available again on page 15 and 67. So I hereby present to you Mrs. Buig, and you have the chance to second that motion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to second female to female. My name is Mrs. E. O. Obide. I rise to second the motion. Thank you. <laughs> Vote. Vote in to commence. Please vote now. Four seconds left. Voting is over, please. At the end of voting, 84.62% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of that resolution. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Following that announcement by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to elect and re-elect Mrs. Helen Buiga as an independent non-executive director has been duly carried. I would like to thank the distinguished shareholders for the election of Mrs. Buig. And now we will want to vote on the resolution to elect and re-elect Mrs. Catherine Echozo as a non-executive director of the company. On screen, and also with us physically. In the course of the year, Mrs. Catherine Echozo has been up, uh, up appointed as a non-executive director of the company. The appointment of Catherine has been approved by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mrs. Catherine Echozo has accordingly been proposed, firstly for election and secondly for re-election as a non-executive director retiring by rotation in accordance with the provisions of the Articles of Association, which requires all non-exec directors to retire at the first annual general meeting of the company. Detailed biography is available on page 15, 67, and 68 of the annual report. I hereby present to you Mrs. Catherine Echeozo. I now ask for a seconder. Didn't you already? Uh, yes, Mr. Seconded Chairman. <laughs> you seconded somebody. Mr. Chairman, uh, I hereby second that motion. Who, who, Boniface oh, Okay, okay. I thought, Mr. I thought Chairman, I right. second the motion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at you trying to second again. Sorry, sorry, my apologies. Uh, so, voting to commence. Madam Register, are we ready? Please vote now. Yeah, the light is straight in my eyes. Yeah. Voting is over. At the end of voting on this resolution, 85.01% of persons present, uh, of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Registrar. And following the announcement of the voting results, I hereby declare that resolution to elect and re-elect Mrs. Echozo as a non-executive director has been duly carried. Once again, I would like to thank the distinguished shareholders for the election and re-election of uh, Mrs. Catherine Echozo. Is that the last one? Oh, we have Mr. Banji. So the next resolution is to elect Mr. Debanji Adeni as executive director of the company. Oh. 
unopposed. Um, in the course of the year, Banji Adeniji has been a, uh, appointed director of the company. Please sit down. The appointment of Mr. De Banji Adeni has been approved by the CBN, and he's being proposed for election as an executive director. His bio is available in the annual report on 15, 16, and page 68. So we hereby present to you Mr. Debanji Adeni. You know him already. And we have a seconder. Banji, you are very that popular. That is my motion. <laughs> I, Comrade Lawrence Ogutoye, hereby second this motion vehemently. Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. Very, very much. The board sincerely appreciates your confidence. Uh, voting to commence. You may Before vote. Voting started, please. Now. We should be calling you doctor. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Voting is over, please. Yeah, it's directly on us. At the end of voting, 84.96% of shareholders present in person or by proxy, voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Following that announcement of the voting results by the registrar, I hereby declare the resolution to elect Mr. Deniyi as director has been duly carried. The board would like to thank the distinguished shareholders for the election of Mr. Debanji Adeniyi. The next resolution is to uh, shareholders to approve the appointment of Einstein Young as the external auditors of the company. Following the recommendation of the audit committee and the resolution of the board in line with section 4047E of Kama 2020, the board is accordingly recommending to shareholders for the approval the appointment of Ernst & Young as the external auditors for the company. It is important to highlight that Ernst & Young are the auditors of the flagship subsidiary Guaranteed Trust Bank Limited and were appointed at the last AGM of Guaranteed Trust Bank Limited when it was uh, a public company. May I have a seconder, please? I so second. Thank you, Timothy Adishino, but with a caveat. Oh. <laughs> and the caveat is that uh, Mrs. Hans and Young should realize that Nigeria is not for the foreign practice of uh, auditors alone. There are a lot of uh, other Nigerian qualified accountants with even practicing license that are not given the opportunity to work. So they do the auditing job and doing the other service uh, assignments should be looked into. And I'm also taking this opportunity to warn the all these committee members that they should shine their eyes. They should shine their eyes. If this kind of thing happens next year, you may not enjoy our confidence. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chief. So, um, thank you for the secondment and your comment. So, make sure, please, that your voting part is blinking red again. And are we ready? So please vote now on the resolution to 
appoint Ernst and Young. Five seconds left. Okay. Voting is over. At the end of voting, 100% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Uh, don't know where I am. So, following the announcement of the voting results by the registrars, I hereby declare that the resolution appointment of Ernst & Young as external auditors of the company has been duly carried. Congratulations. The next resolution is shareholders' approval uh, of the resolution to authorize directors to fix the auditor's remuneration. Uh, we've had comments on that already. And the Companies and Allied Act, Matters Act provides that the remuneration of auditors may be fixed by the company in a general meeting. The board will be guided in this regard by the audit committee in line with section 4047E of CAMA, which provides that the audit committee shall make recommendations to the board regarding the appointment, the removal, and the remuneration of the external auditors of the company. Following the approval of resolution 4, by the shareholders of the company at this meeting, the company's auditor is Ernst & Young. May I have a seconder for that motion, please? Thank you, my chairman. Thank you, my chairman, for recognizing a gentleman. My name is, Tu <laughs> <laughs> my name is Tujiba Mideli. <laughs> I'm second the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready? So please vote now. Voting is over. At the end of voting, 100% of shareholders present and person or by proxy voted in favor of this resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Registrar. Following the announcement of the voting results, I hereby declare that the resolution authorizing directors to fix the remuneration of auditors has been duly carried. We will now take resolution six which is to disclose the remuneration of managers of the company. Section 238 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 requires the company at each general meeting to disclose the remuneration of managers of the company. I hereby draw the attention to, of shareholders to page 287 of the annual report, which I think you have all received which contains a detailed report on the remuneration of managers of the company. May I have a seconder for the motion? Oh, it's for noting. Okay. It says, go to the next one. So no voting on this one? Okay. Uh, so this resolution is noted and carried. Should we go to eight or seven? Seven or eight? eight. Uh, we are now going to the resolution requiring shareholders' approval uh, in Resolution 8. 
and that's to consider and approve in compliance with the rule of the Nigerian Exchange Limited, governing transactions with related parties or interested persons. The company and its related entities, that's called a group, be and are hereby granted a general mandate in respect of all recurrent transactions entered into with a related party or interested person provided such transactions are of a revenue or trading nature and are necessary for the company's day-to-day -day operations. This mandate shall commence on the date of which this resolution is passed and shall continue to operate until the date in, on which the next AGM of the company is held. This requires a seconder for the motion. That permitted the statutory audit committee election. If there's no election, you must also tell us. No, you are dropping it. I'm, I'm following the Syria as being in that line here. That I'm following. You know. Okay, you're coming back to that. Okay, I second the motion. Please vote now. You have two more seconds. Voting is over. Voting is over, please. Results. At the end of voting, 98.76% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. I hereby declare that, I hereby declare that the resolution 8 is hereby duly carried. Next is resolution 9, the director's remuneration for the financial year ending December 31, 2022 and for succeeding years until reviewed by the company in its annual general meeting, B and is hereby fixed at 20 million naira only annually for each director. It is pertinent to mention that executive directors do not receive director's fees and seating allowances. May I please have a seconder for that motion? Alaji. Alaji. Oh, is that? Okay. Are you? Are we ready to vote? Vote. Please vote now. Voting is over. Results. At the end of voting, 100% of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Following the announcement of the voting results by the registrar, I hereby declare that director's remuneration for the financial year ending 31, 2022 and for succeeding years until reviewed by the company in its AGM is hereby fixed at 20 million naira only annually for each director. Thank you very much. Next resolution is uh, approval of resolution 10. This is a long one. With your permission, please, may I stand up to stretch my legs and read this one? It's very long. Uh, to provide background information to this resolution, the effect of Section 124 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 
and the company's regulations 2021 is that there is no dichotomy between authorized share capital and issued share capital of companies. The effect of the above sections reveals that the 2020 Act has eliminated the concept of authorized share capital and refers only to issued share capital. To lay credence to this, the company's regulations 2021 envisage that companies must have fully issued their share capital by June 30th, 2021, but the Corporate Affairs Commission issued a further communication which gave companies an extension to December 21, 31, 2022 for compliance. So this resolution is therefore necessary to comply with the provisions of the 2020 Act. Thus, in compliance, the company is required to cancel its unissued shares that is necessitating this resolution. To consider that the resolution goes thus, to consider and if thought fit to pass the following as an ordinary resolution, that the company be and is hereby authorized to take all steps necessary to comply with the requirements of section 124 of CAMA and the company's regulations 2021 as it relates to unissued shares forming part of the share capital of the company, including the cancellation of the unissued shares of the company. That a company be and is hereby authorized to take all steps necessary to ensure the memo and articles of association of the company are altered to comply with this resolution, including replacing the provision stating the authorized capital with issued share capital. Thirdly, that a company be and is hereby authorized to enter into and execute agreements, deeds, notices, and any other documents necessary for and incidental to this resolution. Four, that a company be and is hereby authorized to appoint such professional parties, consultants, advisors, as may be required to comply with this resolution. And five, that a company be and is hereby authorized to perform all acts and to do all such things as may be necessary for or incidental to giving effect to the above resolutions, including without limitation, complying with the directives of the regulatory authority. May I have a seconder for this long motion? Please, thank you. Oh, observation. Okay. Yes, sir. I, I hope you've written the seconders. Tony Badmos as seconded. Tony Badmos, you got it. Chief. Chief has uh, an observation. Yes, sir. Uh, in regard with this uh, unissued, uh, in respect of this unissued uh, chair capital, we are appealing to you not to cancel, but instead of canceling, please use it to give us bonus. This, bon this kind of opportunity will not come every time. It is not every time that this kind of opportunity will come. So, all the unissued share capital we have now, please use it to give the present shareholders on pro rata basis as bonus. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. We respect your view. Unfortunately, it's not something we're going to be able to do. And we'll vote, obviously, but I just thought I should explain to you. Guarantee Trust currently has 30 billion shares in existence. That is a lot of shares. And if you are ever going to get to 10 Naira, you will never get there if you continue to issue bonus shares. The second thing is the bonuses don't really add any value to the organization. And if we've issued all these shares and a day comes where we want to raise capital to help you grow the business, we'll then go out again, issue other shares, 
and one day we'll be sitting at about 80 billion shares and then we'll start doing reverse bonuses. So I think it's best that we keep the 30 billion shares we have in issue and we continue to build value. And that if in the future there is a need for this business to raise capital, only then should we issue new shares. We should only new, issue new shares to raise capital. And that would be my own humble opinion, but there we will see what other people think. Thank you. I think we should just vote. Yeah, let's, the cancellation is the best. Yes. We did it in, we did, Baba did not query it in the G, I mean, the, um, Zenith. We did it, cancellation is there. So we do all these things not to have over bulleted shares. Yes. I know in 2009, I read this issue of, uh, issue of, uh, continuing issue of bonus. The shareholder want to tear me apart, but we are even the benefit today. If we are continuing issuing bonus all these years, you know, and maybe you have 40 billion, we we'll continue to pay maybe less than one naira. That's the truth. Because what you are paying is on the 30 billion shares, yes. this three naira. So let all reduce it now, cancel it. By the time opportunity comes, you are still going to raise another issue here to bring to the market when the opportunity comes. So I agree with the board, please. Thank you. So we have seconded the motion. Uh, let's vote. Let's vote. I think the, the observations have been noted, uh, and we would uh, we'll uh, vote on it, on it. Please, let's vote now, if you are ready. Are you ready? Yes, it, vote, voting is on. Oh, Thank okay. You. Voting is on. Voting is over. The results. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you saying money? Yeah. Yeah. The results. At the end of voting, 88.88% 88 of shareholders present in person or by proxy voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Um, where are we? Was that 10 or 9? 10. So, following the announcement, uh, Resolution 10 is hereby duly carried. And now the skipped uh, Resolution 7, which is to elect members of the Statutory Audit Committee. Section 404, subsection 6 of the uh, Companies and Allied Matters Act provides that nominations for election to the statutory audit committee shall be in writing and shall be delivered to the secretary at least 21 days before the date of the AGM. The act also provides that membership of the statutory audit committee should be a maximum of five members consisting of three reps from the shareholders of the company and two non-executive directors. In compliance with section 249, subsection three of the act, which states that there shall be no right to demand a poll on the election of members of this statutory committee under section 404, voting for this resolution can only be by show of hands. The secretary received three valid nominations for election to the statutory audit committee. These nominations and nominees are Sandra Mbagu Fagbemi, nominated by of Momobolaji Ajala Idris. Uh, nominee Mohammed Usman, nominated by Inwawu Golden Uchena. And the third nomination uh, of Mrs. Aderonke Kwe, which was nominated by Razak Abayomi Jinodu. In view of the fact that only three qualifying nominations for representatives of the shareholders on the statutory audit committee were received, for the three vacancies available, there shall be no need for elections. Accordingly, uh, Mrs. Sandra Mbagu Fagbemi, Alaji Mohammed Usman, 
and Mrs. Aderonke Kuye shall represent the shareholders and join the director's representatives, Mrs. Helen Buig and Mrs. Catherine Echelzo, to constitute the statutory audit committee of the company for the 2022 financial year. And it looks like I am authorized to say that this concludes the business of this meeting. So I thank you all very much for attending this meeting and uh, formally declare that the meeting has closed. Please rise for the national anthem.